ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Ultimate Muay Thai Fight Night, live from Dragon Power Gym here in the mother city of Cape Town. Alongside the magnificent Mr. Guy Lazarus, I'm Tafuma Makina. So the fight gets underway. Luto Sentile with a good kick to the body, coming out all guns blazing initially. Coming out very fast pace. Seems to be controlling. He seems very hungry to get this. Ref letting it just carry on, and he steps in. As you can see, Artie's got slightly better technique. But, I but Luto's superior strength seems to be coming through. Very heavy hands. In these initial stages, it looks like Luto's scoring most of the points, pounding yeah. away at Atenko Sijian whose defense has failed him in these opening minutes. Yeah. What Ati needs to do is, as, he's, as Luto steps in, he needs to sidestep, make him go forward, and then he can take him from the side, score the clean points and move. At this young age, are they aware of such technicalities or that, or uh, that deep technical facet of the fight? Uh, to a certain extent, they are. They are educated on it. However, also I know my first few fights, Everything goes out the window as soon as the ball goes. That's definitely true, definitely true. Now a couple of knees from Luto Sentile yeah. to the body of Atinko Sitian, who returns a couple. He's stuck on the ropes. The referee, Marlon Rosen, breaks them up. Luto looks very tired now. Maybe this is where Ati's game plan actually comes in. Step back and just hold it till Luto gets tired. Well, well he's, he seems to still be kicking, uh, punching and kicking well. and. Getting a couple of knees in. But you're right, we'll see in the second round whether he can keep up the pace. And there's the bell. I think I'd give the first round to Luto, but I think he seems to be coming back there. Let's wait for the second round and see. Definitely. He showed aggression, and we know uh, for the judges that counts as well who comes out and who shows more hunger and more aggression. Yeah. in the fight and Luto in the red corner has definitely shown that but it's not over yet for Atenko no. Sidian who like we said earlier is looking to make amends after losing the first fight between yeah. these two and round number two gets on the way and just like in the first round Luto Sentile coming out guns blazing what is slightly different from the first round is Artin Korsi seems to be listening to the corner and swiveling, as I said, throwing Luto onto the ropes and taking control. That's exactly what you just talked about, Guy. Are you sure you didn't go in the corner and, and whisper something in his ear? No, I didn't. Yeah. It's nice to see Luto starting to use his legs a little bit more. I remember the first fight, he was all hands. Oh. Oh, hey. Oh. Atenko Sidian hits the canvas. Now he's getting a second eight count. In amateur rules, that won't actually count against him as long as he comes back strong. And he does come back out strong. The crowd calling out all sorts uh, of, of moves they want to see these fighters perform. This crowd almost seems a little bit blood hungry to me, don't you? <laughs> what do you think? It actually helps sometimes as a fighter, you know, in your first couple of fights, some of those basics escape you. And when you hear the crowd uh, chanting and saying to you, knee or kick, it reminds you yeah. of some of the weapons that you have in your arsenal. Yeah, definitely. Fighters look a little bit tired now. Luto Sentile in particular looks tired, and we can understand because he's really been going at it. Still finding a little bit in him. And time. Magnificent fight from two very young boys from Dragon Power Development. Luto Sentile in the red corner and Atenko Sidian in the blue. 
Without further ado, by judge's decision, the winner is Luto Sentile.